Oh, hey, episode three. And today, I I just need your attention really quick. If you or someone you know is about to take the ASVAB test, please share them this video and just watch the first two minutes of it. I'm gonna get right into it. Let's talk about the ASVAB cheat sheet. So there's a, uh, a few weeks ago, I was scrolling through TikTok and I saw that somebody was advertising that they have all the answers to the ASVAB test and that you can download their cheat sheet. Obviously, you gotta pay for it. Now, I was doing some research and I was looking around and so far there's mixed reviews, but most of the reviews are saying that none of those questions are even on the test, okay? Now, what's more important though is, let's, let's dive into the consequences and why it's so important not to even buy that. Um, the person that's selling it, one, is overseas, okay? So they can't, they can't even really be touched. So what happens is, if you are caught cheating, you will get disqualified from enlistment, criminal charges, loss of security clearance, and court martial or UCMJ punishment. Now, obviously, the UCMJ punishment will be for the ones who are in, who are selling it. Um, if you have access to test materials, that's a federal crime because if you read it over here, it says that the uh, since the ASVAB is a federal test, stealing its materials can lead to criminal charges under federal law. This could result in fines, probation, or imprisonment, depending on the severity of the offense. Please don't try to cheat to pass this test. Study. It is very hard to, to uh, it, it is harder to study than it is to cheat. I understand that, but. You know, when, when you study and you can actually understand how to get to the answers, it's gonna help you uh, with the test. You don't have to cheat. Um, the, the cheat sheet is only going to give you the answers. It's not gonna show you how to get there, you know? So um, just be very cautious of that. Um, you know, I'm kind of all riled up from that, that uh, I didn't really have another talking point today. Um, but uh, with that being said, that was just the most important thing that I needed to get out there. I needed to like, do like a public service announcement for that. Um, we're trying to get the information out there so that way people don't get uh, kicked out. We're also trying to get the information out there so people who are using it and, and eventually get caught don't have to get kicked out. Um, and at the end of the day, we want to see you join. We want to see you be able to put your best foot forward. And if you cheat on this test, on the ASVAB test, you're not going to be putting your best foot forward and it's going to come back to bite you. So with that being said, whew, let's change topics. Let's get positive. Okay, so today we're going to Little Rock. Little Rock uh, Air Force Base. Uh, we'll be there around uh, 240, 245. Um, I want to go to clothing sales. I want to get bigger shirts. Um, most of my shirts right now are like extra large, double XL, so they don't really fit. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah. extra large, double XL, so I need triple XL. Um, I keep getting bigger, I don't know what it is. Um, but after we're doing that, it is drill weekend for the reserves, or uh, I'm sorry, for the guard, for the Arkansas National Guard down there, they're doing their drill weekend. So we might stop by there. Um, I'm planning on going there probably uh, later today or um, tomorrow, and we'll do a little bit of a meet and greet. We'll see who those Air, uh, Arkansas National Guard recruiters are and uh, you know, kind of get some of their stories and see uh, what they're looking for and uh, people that are joining down there, you know, because everywhere, uh, every guard unit looks for different things, right? So some guard units might not have the same capabilities as other guard units while they are, um, you know, benefiting their own uh, capacities. So let's see what Ar Arkansas National Guard uh, needs. And, uh, you know, if they need what you're looking for, hey, let's, let's uh, make that happen. So other than that, I will also be meeting with the... Uh, enlisted a sessions recruiter uh that's uh Master Sergeant mccarthy so he's down there and he's uh helping you know find a next generational uh next generation of future leaders so that's gonna be cool to get to talk with him and uh obviously we got to go to the gym first stop is the gym so um that's it's, it's what i like to do i like to go on road trips I like i like to find places to go and uh obviously you know right when we get there we, we hit the gym so i'll do a not sure if i'll do a gym video for that one i might just tag it along the end of this video just to uh just to get some you know in case people are out there or trying to see some of the other things i do i think today i'm going to do back back and chest i know it's unorthodox but i love chest and a new gym for some reason um going heavy on chest in a gym that i've never been to is uh something i enjoy doing so um, then I think after that, we'll go and, uh, just see what's over in Little Rock. I've never been there before, so it'll be cool to kind of see, uh, the different areas they have. I do not have a hotel booked yet. 
I don't know. I just couldn't find a hotel yet and I didn't know where to go. So I'm a very big wing it person. Uh, this was an idea I thought of, I think yesterday or a day before. So I packed uh, about 20 minutes ago. So um, we're on the road, we, we're making it, we're making it work. Whatever happens, happens. Uh, I love the wing it mentality that I have. Uh, for me, it, it's, it just, it makes it feel real. It makes it feel like authentic. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I know that whenever I get there, we're gonna find something to do. I know that once I get there, it's gonna be fun. And then if it's not, then I, okay, cool. But then next time, you know, so. Um, that's kind of, you know, the thought process I have when it comes to the, the wing it mentality. Um, but, oh man, there's a wreck. Ooh, this one's a bad wreck. This one looks like we got one, two, three, three cars, man. Hopefully they're okay, but you gotta be careful. All right, so again, very short video today. Um, only because I think I'm going to, I'm going to upload this one. I'm not sure if this one's going to be the only video we upload today. So I might, I might be able to give you all like a two for one. Uh, but I will say this video has to be uploaded in three hours because I, I recorded the initial video yesterday, but, um, I was too, I guess I was probably just too emotional, like charged up because I, I really don't like seeing people get scammed. And man, just, just for that person to be able to scam people and get away with it and just be able to release content that just keeps on scamming people, it kind of irks me. So I'm gonna try my best to uh, expose it. And you know, one of the things was he, uh, somebody, another person in the TikTok community tried to expose him and he called him a hater. And I found that very interesting. I was like, he said that, uh, I think in the comments, like, if people aren't hating on you, then you're not doing something right. And that's that's not true at all. Um, if you are doing something wrong and somebody is exposing you, that's not them being a hater. They are exposing you because what you're doing is you're messing, you're not messing with their community because some people in their community was using the abs of cheat sheet. And then uh, they're like, it's useless. They, they got scammed and now if they get caught using it, well, guess what? I can now see you, who you are, and that can, that can de -qual you know, disqualify you. Imagine being at basic training, and you made a comment on TikTok or on Instagram saying, hey, I used your as of cheat sheet, it really worked. Well, you just confessed to doing a federal crime. So now, guess what? Now you can get kicked out of basic training. So we don't want that, you know, we don't want to see you do that. We don't want to see that happen. We want to make sure that, again, you are understanding that what that is, is illegal if it's what he says it is right I, at the end of the day i don't i'm not buying it i'm staying far away from it so but the people who have told me what what it was have said that it all it is is just questions and answers and if that's valid that means that somebody went there and 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 t stole that material so please be mindful of it um and I, again i'll catch you next time uh y'all take it easy